I moved companies forward. I moved departments forward. I've trained agencies and companies worldwide to remove them from their... Yeah, 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 yeah. He talks too much, doesn't he? Aren't you tired of his talking? I'm tired of it and I've had enough. I don't want to listen to him anymore. Do you guys still want to listen to this guy seriously? I, I've had it. I, I mean, I, I hear him every single day. I want to hear a different voice. Let's hear a different voice for a change. What's up, Stormtrooper? How you doing? Got anything to say to the good people? Reporting for duty, Commander. <laughs> All right, folks, jokes apart, it becomes really serious when people don't get this PMP thing done. And I'm really concerned because I've got a lot of students out there, okay, who are just on this treadmill, this never-ending cycle of I'm going to get certified, I'm not going to get certified, I'm going to get certified, I'm not going to get certified. It just becomes so, I don't know. What do you think? Are you one of them? Are you one of my students that refuses to get this done? That's why I'm, I'm tortured having to listen to this guy called Phil every single day. He drives me nuts. <laughs> Does he drive you nuts? Same thing every day. But Phil doesn't mean any harm. To be honest, he doesn't mean any harm. He's only trying to move people forward from their stuck state to a more fluid state. Okay? So that's why I put this together. It has a little bit of audio issue, folks. So I hope you don't mind that. But anyway, I just wanted to come on and say hello to you live and see if you had any questions, concerns, or comments I could answer, and then we can listen to him again. But if you have any questions for me, now would be a perfect time for you to chat them in or comment, whichever one you, you can do, all right? If you want to comment them in, do that. I just got done with a class with a bunch of awesome folks on the Formula Mania track, and we're going to continue Formula Mania Next week, Wednesday at 12 p.m. No, not 12 p.m. What am I saying? 6 p.m. Eastern. So if you want to be part of that, just stay tuned. I'm going to put up an announcement, and those who want to be part of it can. But do you have any questions I can answer for you before I hop off for the day? If you do, I'm going to open the chat in a second, and you can chat them in if you do have anything that I can answer for you. Um, the title of this video is indeed, it's unfortunate you wasted your time on PMP class because trust me, a lot of my students, a boatload of them, I, I would have to go and do a like really serious count, but I'm telling you, hundreds, hundreds of people start off the journey and they don't end it. I take offense. Seriously, I do. I don't like that. I don't like that we spent so much time, money, effort, energy, and at the end of the day, they're like, Oh, Phil, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to jump off the bus. Why did you even start it? Why did you make your company pay all that money? <sighs> anyway, do me a favor. You got any questions I can answer for you live? You know what to do. Just chat them in right now before I hop off. I've activated the chat. You got anything you want me to answer for you? You know what to do. Ask the question. Well, I'm going to be hopping off. Questions about your PMBOK guide. Your favorite book. I will gladly answer any questions that you have. Don't be scared. I don't bite. Very hard. <laughs> But he does. This guy is ready for action. Reporting for duty, Commander. Told you. He's always ready for action. I just turned him on and he's reporting for duty already. Okay, guys. If you don't have any questions for me, I'm going to leave you with that guy called Phil. For him to talk to you again about his ideas from this book. The seven habits of highly effective project managers. <laughs> if you're a highly effective project manager, you know you need to take this exam quick. Okay? Don't dilly-dally and run circles and circles and circles around before you decide to do it. 
All right. I just wanted to come on and say hello. Nothing major. I don't have anything else to say. He's going to say it all. Okay. Your buddy Phil is going to say it all. So I'll just put him back on. Darvel. How you doing, Darvel? Good to see you this evening. Darvel says, hey, Phil, I take the PMP test in two weeks. Any last minute suggestions? Yes, I actually have a video. Have you watched my video about one day to the exam, Darvel? One day to the PMP exam. I actually have a video on that. And I will put the video in the comments. I think it's called PMP exam tomorrow. Yep, yeah, that's what it's called. PMP exam tomorrow with a scared looking fail. So let me put that in for you, Darvel. That's it. I would advise that you read that. But hey, Darvel, if you're taking the exam in the next two weeks, I'll say that you need to do all of your buttoning down now. You need to button down everything that you found as a gap. And I would recommend that you go on the Prazion site and take our mock exams. I wish there were other mock exams out there that were as predictable, but they're not. I haven't found any. So I would say go take our mock exams on the Prazion page and kick the tires. And if you do not get like a pass, close all those gaps because I've, found, I've seen this happen again and again that I, I'm even tired of saying it to people. Take the mocks from Prazion because they'll find the gaps. They'll find the gaps. So that's what I would recommend, Arvel, you know, go on there. Have you taken our little test mark? Let me let me send you this free 10 question mark and you can go play with it and see what you get. You get a 70. That's a good sign. If you get seven out of 10, it's a good sign. Because these questions are they're kind of they're kind of tricky, you know. Perhaps the right word would be they're like the real exam. <laughs> that would be the right thing to say, Darvel. They're like the real test. So um, you're welcome. Hey, go to that link and take that free 10 question mock exam. The real exam is, is some people say is as bad. Some people say it's worse, you know. So that's the link. And here is the um, password, Darvel. So, Darvel, here, here are my two cents. So, if you're taking the exam in two weeks, all the buttoning down needs to have been done, like, already. Anything that you've found that's a gap needs to be closed. Um, I would also recommend, I'll just type it in the chat so that it's clear. Um, you want to create your last-minute note sheet. And in your note sheet, you need to put in the definitions of all processes I'm talking about creating a note sheet for every one of the 49 processes so for example this is an eight and a half by eleven your note sheet can be one sheet front and back for every process and I would I would recommend creating this intentionally using your PMBOK guide and you want to open up let me show you really quickly if you open up to a process for example, Darvel, I don't know if you heard me talk about this before, but if you open up to page 449 and you take a look at implement risk responses, what do you see? You see a definition and you also see a benefit. So it says implement risk responses is the process of dot, 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 dot. That stuff, I need you to go into it, harvest it, what exactly they're trying to say. And then the next piece, which I'll type in as well to the chat, just so it's clear. Um, definitions of all processes and the benefits. So if you take a look at that same page, 449, you can see it says the key benefit of this process is that it ensures that agreed upon risk responses are executed as planned in order to address overall project risk exposure, minimize individual project threats, and maximize individual project opportunities. So that gives you some inkling, and then you might want to take note of the final blurb at the end of each process. It says, this process is performed throughout the project. So all of that stuff is going to be some arsenal for you on the exam so that you know the definitions inside out, you know the benefits inside out. The next thing I would put on the note sheet is the key ITTOs. In other words, 
what is a unique input to this process? What is a unique tool and technique and what is a unique output? So the unique inputs are not your regular project management plan, project documents, EEFs, OPAs. It's not that. It's stuff that does not appear all the time. Let me show you an example really quick. So for every process, most processes, not every single one, but most processes have something unique about them or something that you could say is kind of semi-unique. You see? So page 460, I'm looking at figure 12-1 and 12.1, conduct procurements. So as I look at conduct procurements, I see an input, seller proposals. That is an example of unique. Or I go to Control Procurements 12.3 on that same page, page 460, you see Agreements. That's pretty unique. I know it appears in Develop Project Charter, but not everywhere, you know? So all of these that are semi-unique, uh, Darvel, in that, yeah, Project Team Assignments, exactly. There you go. You know what I'm talking about. Exactly. So stuff like that. You want to hone in on all of those unique ITTOs, especially the tools and techniques. So from page 686 to 693, you've got a bunch of unique tools and techniques that only appear in one process or two or maybe three. You know, those ones, pay close attention to them. Uh, make sure you got all of those down. That's your low-hanging fruit. Okay, so I, like I said, I would create a note sheet for every process the definitions in your own words, but extracting the core stuff from the pen book that's important, um, the benefits, and then the unique inputs, the unique tools and techniques, the unique outputs. Not everyone, but the unique ones and the unique sub ones. Okay? After you have done that, I would go through every single formula that is possible on the exam. So your project selection methods from before integration, if you will naming conventions for the WBS, all of your EACs, all your basic earned value, SPI, CPI, all that stuff. If I were you, I would cover all of my formulas on a separate day, make sure I've got all of them buttoned down, those that are not tight, tighten them up. And um, in closing, I would say go through the glossary, go through the glossary inside out, um, and look at my video. I don't know if you've seen my video on the um, PMP exam or I should say PMBOK uh, mainline. I don't know if you've taken a look at that video, um, but based on the sixth edition, I've got a video out there that shows data flows and relationships. So a lot of students have sworn by this, Darvel. If I were you, I would also watch that and just get all of these relationships, deliverables, where they go, what they become, what those become, so on and so forth. Um, look out for your project charter. That document is a bad document project charter because that's like six and a half percent so I know it only appears as an output once but it goes into many places especially close project or phase you need to know why it's going there and then you also want to take a look at all of those other tiny little things that people don't take notice of like your stakeholder register it looks quite insignificant but it's important because it's another six and a half percent when you look at the big picture of it so stuff like that um, you'll close project or phase, if I were you, I would hone in on it because it's the weightiest process on the entire exam. 7% of your exam is from close project or phase. Um, and then I'll just go in economies of scale. Then I would hit executing. Have one day where you comb through executing, looking for loose ends. Have one day where you go over monitoring and controlling, looking for loose ends. And planning probably has to be about two days. So if I were you and I've got 14 days to my exam, I'd spend about three days creating that note sheet I talked about, and then I'd spend more days going through these unique things I've talked about, initiating one day, um, closing one day, executing one day, you know, putting them in that priority, you know, um, initiating is six and a half, six and a half, closing is seven per process, um, executing is roughly three-ish per process, monitoring and controlling roughly two, so I, I would kind of cover them in that, in that way. Oh, you saw the video. Well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But it looks like you're all set. Yeah, if you remember those unique tools, techniques, inputs, outputs, and you go through all of these processes, I think you, you should be good. But if you can, 
you know, go take the praise on mocks because it would be insincere for me to tell you, oh, that's all you need to know. No, no, no. Go take those mocks. Seriously. Take those mocks. You know, there it's three mocks. If I were you, Darvel, what I would do, I would take one like tomorrow to kick the tires. I'll take one in about six days after closing the gaps I found, and I'll take one in about 10 days. And I have four days left to close everything because trust me, those mocks are crazy. They're, they're pretty crazy, but they are very, very accurate. If you took one of those mocks and you got a 70% in any of them, yeah, I would I would know that you're ready for the exam and I would stop worrying about it, <laughs> you know. But until you take those mocks, I can't say what our friend would probably say when I put his on switch on. What does he have to say? Reporting for duty. No, no, not that one. Orders received. Nope, not that one. Mission is a go. <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, Darvel. Well, thank you very much for asking the question. I appreciate it. Remember, everyone else, if you've got any questions that I can answer, you know, I will always do my best to get back to you. Might be a day, two days, um, hopefully not up to a week, but I will always get back with answers. Okay, so Darvel... I wish you all the very best. Everyone else watching, you got questions. Hey, this is the channel where we answer all your questions, where we thrive on your questions. You don't ask questions, then we're upset. We don't like that. You know, we don't want to just do all the talking and thinking what you want to ask. We really want to know what you do have to ask, okay? So do us a favor, send in your questions, send in your concerns. And wish you all the best. And Darvel, go kill that thing. Go smash it. Knock its lights out. And I look forward to hearing your lessons learned after you get certified. And for everyone else, I look forward to hearing your stories about project management. You've got a manager that is making life a joy for you. We want to know about it. We want to know how. You see, my library here is full of leadership books, leadership information from my mentor, John C. Maxwell, and from many other people, many other greats. So this channel is not just about the project management piece, because you know, project management thrives on leadership. You know, everything rises and falls on leadership. So if you've got stories about leadership, you want to share maybe something interesting that happened in the workplace, maybe you were caught doing something good, you were rewarded, you got a crazy bonus, we want to know about this stuff, all right? That's what this channel is all about, to inspire other PMs. You know, one of my, my mentor, um, name withheld, anyway, my mentor once told me that she got a crazy bonus. That's the kind of news I want to know about. And that bonus, I know what she did with it. She bought something of interest, something that most guys would love. It starts with the letter, hmm. Well, let's just say you can put pedal to the metal in that baby. All right, my friends, I look forward to speaking to you soon. I'm going to leave you with your buddy, Phil. He's going to ramble on and on as usual. Just accommodate him and just listen to what he has to say, all right? You got any comments? Don't hesitate to put Project them Project management concepts may seem tough at times, but not to worry. You have a coach who makes it as easy as ABC. Here he is to set things straight for you. Your friend, Phil. Hey, what's up, my friends? I hope you're doing awesome today. I'm going to talk to you today about how to get PMP certified, how to really nail this down. You know, over the past number of years, I've trained so many folks to get certified. And I've realized that some folks just don't get any traction at all. They come for the class. They say they want to get certified. 